What's going on guys and welcome back to Face Over Matter and today we are going to be doing a hair video, hair tutorial. I just want to show you guys how I get my finger coils um, really high definition in my hair right now on my TWA. TWA is for teeny weeny afro but my afro is getting a little big. <laughs> but um, but yeah, so first I like to do my hair is already washed and it is already moisturized. That's how you can see a little bit of like whitish looking water because in the spray bottle it's only water in there. So I just wanted to kind of re-wet my hair just to get it nice and damp. Um, I feel like that's the best way I can get a really nice curl is when my hair is kind of saturated with water. So as you can see, I like to detangle my hair first. I want to comb it out. This makes it a lot easier when I'm separating my hair as you can see. Um, I'm using the Eco Styler Gel. I love using the green bottle. That's the one that has the olive oil. It's like the Eco Styler olive oil gel. Um, that's my favorite one. That's the one that has the less flaking going on as for my use, as for my personal use. Um, some of the other gels I've used flaked like the same day. This gel I can literally have maybe even after it's dry, um, it won't flake them maybe until like the fourth day. And usually I keep my hair in this style like four to five days. It can last up to a week, but usually I'll keep it in for like four or five days before I try to redo it. And by that fourth and fifth day, that's when it'll start to flake. But until then, it's no flaking after it dries and it's just, it's good. It's really good. I can pick my hair out and it won't start flaking. So that's why I like that gel. I see a lot of questions concerning about that gel that I use. But the olive oil, this is the one in the green uh, tube. So yeah. So as you can see, I'm just taking them uh, small sections by section. This is the best way I can get a really good curl. All of my hair can get detangled um, if I do it in sections. I know sometimes I would have my whole fro and I would just pick through the entire fro and it feel like it would take forever. Either way, it does take forever. This, uh, um, this time I did it, it literally took maybe maybe 45 minutes, 50 minutes. I'll round it up to like an hour. Um, it is really time consuming. That's why I do keep it in, hopefully for about a good week. Like I said, four or five days before I try to redo it again. But um, but yeah, I'm just gonna go through, take a good amount of gel, saturate my hair with it, comb through it, and then just go through and just coil it. As you can see, I'm just taking a little piece and just kind of twisting it around my finger and then pulling it down. And that way my hair, of course, will do its old natural thing. One tip that I want you guys to take with you is that when doing this, you want to do it in sections. That's just what I've learned with doing my um, my short Afro hairstyles. It's just simply because, you know, when you're doing this, you don't want to pull all your hair out. You don't want to, you know, like when your hair is dry, it's a little bit harder to comb through. So that's why I like to take it by sections, saturate it with water, get it all nice and moisturized again, as you can see I'm doing here, and then focus on combing through your hair. It's just a lot easier. As you can see how easy it is to comb through it. It's just a lot easier taking it small sections by section. It's a lot less tension on your hair. You don't have to pull all your hair out or even end up just like combing the ends and the next thing you know you have frail ends and stuff. So take it small section by section. If you're gonna do this hairstyle, just keep in mind that this will take you some time. So if you're in a rush, this is not the hairstyle to go to. This is something that you wanna do hours before wherever you have to go or maybe even a day before just so that you'll have a full day for it to dry. I air dry my hair and my hair takes forever to dry. So I will say take a full day because there has been so many occasions to where I've done my hair and then left and then I'm just looking crazy with white stuff all in my hair because my hair was not completely dry yet. So if you want, just take some time or if you want to put a blow dryer to it, do that. Use the cold, um, use the cool air on your hair if you're you know into that type of thing because I am. I don't like any type of heat, so I just wanna, people say that's overrated, but I just know for me, I don't want any heat. So I use the cool air and then, um, and then yeah, I let it dry like that. But most of the time it's an air drying type of process and um, I just go with that. Um, hair in the front, I don't know what's going on with my hair in the front, but it's like my curls do not curl up as sharp as the other pieces of my hair. You know, I haven't flat ironed my hair at any time, like none of that. So I don't know what's going on with the front part of my curls. Maybe it's just because that's where I tie my turban sometimes and the pressure maybe do maybe does something to it. I'm not sure. But I mean, it doesn't look like it's too bad right now, but like right there in the front with the bang, it's just like my curls aren't as defined. And it's kind of worrying me, but I'm not gonna focus too much on it. I'm just gonna go with it and hopefully it'll get itself together, okay? All right, so here off to the last section, we're just gonna do the same thing. This section right here is probably like three sections I'm gonna divide it into, just simply because my hair is super thick. It might not look like a lot, but when you start separating it, as you can see, it's a whole lot of hair right there. So I, I thank God for allowing me to have a lot of hair because you know some people you know, don't, but you know, I'm, I'm grateful for my hair, but it's, it's very tedious work, it takes a long time, and my arms, honey, 
are killing me up to this point. So let's finish this off and then we'll see the rest of the results. All right, and here we are finished. Um, now what I'm gonna do is just kind of, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of like flicking through my hair just to kind of position all the curls. I always do like a good shake when I'm finished. That just loosens the curls up everywhere. And this is it, guys. This is my curly hair. I'm eight months in, guys. I'm so excited to hit a year. It'll be April 29th <laughs> of this year. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this helped. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in the next one.